Hello students, I am teacher Suraya, your science teacher and today's video is going to be on the first lesson in science, the food we eat. All of you know that living things require food. Food is our basic need. Food helps us to grow. It keeps us alive. It keeps us strong and protects us from diseases. Now there are some substances in food that keep us healthy and those substances or those materials in, fruit, in food that keep us healthy are called nutrients. Now food contains five nutrients. The five nutrients in food are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Now carbohydrates are nutrients that give us energy. Now food that gives us carbohydrates are rice, wheat, maize, potatoes. These are some examples of energy giving food. Along with carbohydrates, fats also give us energy. But the energy that is given by fats is stored for later use. Food containing fats is ghee, food rich in ghee, oil, nuts, butter. All these items give us the nutrient fats. Now, too much of fat is very bad for health. It can make us obese. It can give us heart problems. Growing children must have food containing carbohydrates because they need a lot of energy. They are young. Along with growing children, laborers or adults that do a lot of physical work, they too need food rich in carbohydrates. Next, we come to proteins. Now, proteins is a nutrient that is required for building our bodies. Uh, children, growing children, need a lot of proteins. It builds muscle. It repairs the cells in the body. Now, food rich in proteins are milk, curds, meat, fish, and your pulses. All the dals, for example, masoor dal, then arhar dal, thur dal are examples of pulses. The next nutrient in food is vitamins. Vitamins and minerals are called protective food. They protect us from various diseases. Now food rich in vitamins and minerals are vegetables and fruits. Now some of the vitamins that you need to know are vitamin A, B, C, D and E. Vitamin A is found in carrots. It's very good for your eyesight. Found in papaya. Found in leafy vegetables. Vitamin B is found in milk, eggs and fish. These are just a few examples. Vitamin C. All citrus fruits contain vitamin C. Vitamin D. Milk, eggs contain vitamin C. D. Vitamin E is present in almonds, butter and spinach. Some of the minerals that our body requires are sodium, calcium, iron, potassium. You already know that calcium is required to keep our bones strong and teeth strong. Whereas iron is required in the formation of blood. Now other than these five nutrients that food contains, our body also requires water and roughage. Now you know that 75% of our body is made up of water. So water is also very very important. One should drink at least eight glasses of water. Water helps in digestion and it helps to throw the the waste, the toxins out of our body. Roughage. Now this term might be a little new to you. Roughage is the fiber 
present in our food, the fiber that cannot be digested by our body. Now this fiber is important in order to throw the solid waste out from our body. Vegetables, fruits contain this fiber, so it's very important for us to consume a lot of fruits and vegetables. Today's video is only on the nutrients and the importance of roughage and uh, water.